Sponsored by Bangta. Sustainable business development in harmony with the environment and society. After the United States has announced that it will suspend its sanctions against Myanmar in June, multinational firms such as Pepsi and Coke had decided to return to the 60 million people market. The company spent large amount of money, especially on advertising, as you can see the giants Coke and Pepsi billboards and advertisements around Myanmar's former capital of Yangon. However, during this time of the sanctions until now, Myanmar itself also has its local drink brands such as Star Cola, Blue Mountain, or Crusher. And with the move of Pepsi and Coke, this is a challenging time for the local brands. Especially one of the key players in the soft drink industry in Myanmar is Lohin Group, which produces several local drink brands as well as Freshwater Alpine. Of course, we had the opportunity to sit down and talk with the chairman of Loi Hen, Dr. Sai Sam Tun, about his company and a soft drink market in Myanmar and his plan to compete with the international two giants. Could you please tell us about your company? Actually, our company is private limited. It is a family owned, a no shareholder inside the company, first of all. And the company has been set up since 1994. Up to now, it's, we should say it's about 18 years old already. Mm -hmm. So during the past 18 years, what we have done is we just try to focus on the beverage, non-alcoholic beverage, which is water that we are doing, which is energy drink that is, we are doing, which is carbonated soft drink we are doing. But in the last two, three years, we become the distributor, sole distributor, distributor for spy wine of Thailand from CM Winery mm -hmm. and we become the Mandalay beer distributor so we are a little bit related to alcohol. How did you build up the company to be this successful in the country? Well actually I start the company frankly speaking I used to work in the United States and Canada for five years so my saving to back to the country is 20,000 US so I start the company in 1990 with 20,000. So it has been a very, very tough time during 1994-95. But 96, fortunately, uh, luckily, what I get is because I learned how to make use of other people's money, other people's knowledge, other people's resource, other people's skill, other people's time. Then when I'm back in Myanmar, I try to get other people's resource. That is a government resource. So I start going into Ministry of Industry 1 belonged to the government at the time. So we proposed a plan to run the factory. Actually at the time is we inherited the economy from socialists. So all the state related factory is not doing well. They don't know how to do the branding. They know how to do the manufacturing. And yet they don't know much about marketing and branding and distribution. So I come into picture, we renovate the government factory and then we distribute, we build a brand. Then we have a win-win story. Then that's the first step I make money for the company. So from 2000, then I start to build my own manufacturing facility, building my own brand and go into the market. So the first business successfully I launched with our own brand is we get it from also Sopa, Thailand. So we built Shark and Lipo in Myanmar. So from 2000, we have been suffering for tough time for two years and two and a half years. Then ultimately the Shark brand is going through into Myanmar. And then we are quite successful with the Shark brand up to now. And then we and also Sopa, Thailand is getting closer. Then we are distributing M150 at the moment. So for the future of energy drink also, we might work with energy drink giant from Thailand. Then by 2003, as soon as I came back from Europe, I've been to Austria, Innsbruck, then I have to go to the Alps mountain, then I saw the, the Alpine mountains, shape everything, then I named the Alpine, I start to produce purified drinking water under the name of Alpine, then we do heavy branding for two to three years. Then 
now we can say that this brand is also very powerful, very successful, and we have successful water business again. By 2009, then we set up that carbonated soft drink that I work with the government is in glass bottle only. So glass bottle in carbonated soft drink in Myanmar is going down, which is from 70% gradually go down to 30%. Not like Thailand. I think in Thailand, returnable glass bottle business in carbonated soft drink is still maintain 60 to 70%. Surprisingly, in Thailand, is uh, still they prefer the glass bottle mm -hmm. uh, as a container. But whereas in Myanmar, it's gradually it's go down. Then we set up the carbonated soft drink factory in Shibida, our own factory for first one line, second line. Now we expand to another third line. So that is carbonated soft drink in PE. So our company mainly is running water business, energy drink business, and carbonated soft drink business. But right now we become the distributor of beer, distributor of spy wine cooler at the moment. So that's uh, all about our company in short. Okay, and what were the secrets behind working with the government at those time back then? Uh, the secret is actually, <coughs> I have read a book of Rich Dad and Poor Dad at the time. So I just keep on thinking uh, because I myself don't have the full resources to get rich. Uh -huh. So how to make use of other people's money, other people's resources. So that's why I explore the possibility of going into the government sector. <coughs> that is uh, especially the government industry. How can we work with I go into secret factory. I go into the beer factory, I go into a soft drink factory with the government. So from there, we build our base. The base of Loi Heng becomes solid and solid, grow and grow up to the... At this moment, we are having about 100 million US dollar revenue up to this position. Okay, and you know, starting up a business, of course, obstacles, problems. What kind of obstacles did you face and how did you solve all those obstacles? Uh, I think without a problem, uh, it, it's no meaning. And every human being must have the problem, must have the difficulty, must have all the negative things on the journey that we are passing through life, I think. So we have a lot of problems because lack of investment is a major problem. As we expand to expand, then we are short as shortage of capital in the country because we can't get it from the bank at the time you have to do the collateral then you can get the bank loan so the most thing we facing during my business career life is i think it's a financial crisis mm -hmm. because i have to pay people a lot of money and yet my cash flow is out so ultimately i just went to a friend of mine who is the owner of the bank at the time we called AWB Bank. I think it's owned by Mr. Aitun. I just went to him and say, I need money. So he asked me how much you need. I mean, 30,000 lead. In, in Myanmar, we call it 30,000 lead. Actually, it's 3,000 million. So he asked me, what do you have? I say, I have myself only. Other than that, I don't have. I don't have anything to do the collateral for you. Then fortunately, he believed on me, he had confidence on me, then he just gave me the bank loan. From there, I am quite uh, relieved and comfortable with my cash flow in the future. So one of the difficulties I'm facing is financial crisis. We are shortage of investment, shortage of cap capital, because we just keep on expanding, expanding, and yet the money doesn't follow. That's one of the major. Another major thing is, I think, our country, Ministry of Industry 1 minister is keep on changing. So if new minister come, the new set of regulation come in. So we have to adjust all these things with, during the past 18 years, we have to adjust. I think in my time, is, it's about almost four minister is during my uh, business career life. So uh, we have to adjust each and individual minister, the style, the regulation, they like, the, the, the favor thing. So that's the difficulty we are facing. So do you have to please the ministers as well? 
would you say I should that? admit that uh, for our business to run well, uh, although it is not to please them, but we have to be in line with them. Mm -hmm. That's right. we have to do. That's we have. Okay. Would you say that your company is the biggest, you know, beverage company in Myanmar? Actually, in Myanmar, the data is not uh, properly available, but we are growing uh, quite fast. In number of employees, we are growing. In number of trucks, we are employing. In number of revenue, we are growing until now. So certain year we grow about 20%, certain year 30%. So we keep on growing during the past. And now we touch 100 million revenue uh, right now. It means whether I'm the biggest or I'm in the middle or I'm the la late last one, I still don't know exactly. In Myanmar, I think availability of the theater is still very restricted. So we say 100 million dollars or, yes, 100 million dollars. Okay, so the company is growing. What's the next step for the company? The next step company is I have to bring the company from 100 million to a billion company by 2025. 2025. That is our vision and mission. Mm -hmm. So how we are going to grow in the future is one thing is we will partner with multinational. Because if we partner water business with multinational, then what will happen is multinational will bring our asset from 50 million maybe to 300 million, 400 million as the time goes by. So I keep the 50% share, then it means that I grow with that multinational. Mm -hmm. So if I grow in water, if I grow in CSD, if I grow in energy drink to that level, so my assets in 10 years, 15 years, we grow several times as the country is an emerging market, it's a growing market, it's a growing country. So we intend to go from 100 million to a billion <coughs> company in 13, 14, 15 years down the road. Okay.